Hey guys, Andy here. Welcome back to more Lego City Undercover. So we're going. So uh, this this episode, we're going to steal a fireball from the on the on the fire station in Lego City. I did some a uh, four thousand five gameplay a while, a while ago because I think. I'm trying to say. Well, hold on. I think in the last episode, I had to steal a T Rex in the Lake City Museum before I did some Forza Horizon 5 gameplay. But before the Horizon, the Horizon Rally expansion was released. And also have to wait two hours for to download. Then this this gameplay after that. So game. The T-Rex is at the drop-off point, Vinny. That's great! Yeah, just one more job and I can get my payment and wave goodbye to my private buyer. That creep. You're gonna meet him? I don't envy you. He sounds mean. Yeah, some people. They ain't like us, Chasey. They don't have class. Do you need help with this job, then? I don't know. I mean, the other thing he wants is some boat from the fire department. Well, I got guys who can drive it, but, uh... What's the problem? The keys to it are in the fire chief safe. The only people who can get near to it are firemen. Whoever does the job would have to go undercover. You reckon you could do that? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I've obviously never done that before, but I think I could do it. Then the job's yours. Thanks, Chasey. I won't forget it. Alright, fire department, festival square no less too. So, so that's what it's called. I thought it was like a... Yeah, festival square no less. Yeah! Wow! Hey, Chase! I've got some great news! Oh, hey there, Frank. What is it? I have been promoted! What? Wait, who by? Sheriff Huckleberry! He's made me head of tree-related crime! Ah... Are people stealing a lot of trees? Not since I've taken over! So, what you up to? Oh, the usual. Actual police work. I'm just going undercover for Vinny as a fireman. Aren't you already undercover? So, now you're undercover undercover?! Wow! I'm going to get one of the fire department's boats for Vinny. Oh? And once I've taken it to Vinny, he's gonna go see Rex, and I'll follow him. Okay, Chase. As long as you're not stealing any trees. No, Frank. Speak later. Aye, aye! Over and out! You here to join the fire department? Head on in! So, now I'll be a firefighter. How proper is he? Okay, recruit, what is your name? Pete Peterson, sir. Right, Pete Peterson. Being a fire officer is all about team effort. Team effort! Isn't that right, McGurkey? What? 
Don't help him. It means knowing what your fellow officer is thinking. What is my favorite flavor of cake, Pete Peterson? Uh, chocolate? Even the new recruit knows! <laughs> ah! Well then, Pete Peterson, we'd better start your training. Uh, Chase? What are you doing, man? I haven't given you any instructions yet. Sorry, Ed. I got a little excited. Fire extinguishers are not toys. They are not to be played with. Follow me over here. Uh. Whee! This is Officer Lopez Delgado. Hola. He'll give you your basic training. I've got to write a talk on the importance of buying the right flavor of birthday cake. All right, Pete, is it? This is wonderful. <laughs> First of all, we better get you looking like a fire officer, hadn't we, huh? <laughs> there is a shiny new uniform in the middle garage. If you can get the door open. And now we get... There we go. That should do it. I guess I just pulled this lever? Yeah, that would have been too easy. Car slopper, I think. And yep, I was right. Looks like someone forgot to finish painting that garage door. There we go. There we go. That was too easy. Fireman McCain. Chris McCain, Fireman. Well, don't you look as bright as a bottom. <laughs> okay. We're going to start things out nice and easy. Oh no, look, a raging inferno has erupted. Oh, if only someone could put out the fires with an extinguisher. That's great, well done. You will be a well done. Wait a minute, that door is shut. Oh, and that innocent valve handle is trapped behind it. Oh, and look here. Fire axe. Hang on. Do you think you could somehow use this axe to get through that door? Don't worry, you won't get into trouble. Unlock the axe. That's right. Just break down the door. I know you can do it. All right. Here's Petey. <laughs> oh, well, aren't you big and strong? Pick up the valve in there. Good! Oh, great heavens! Look! One of your soon-to-be comrades has accidentally turned their hose pressure up too high. But who could help him? Who might have some kind of valve? Yes, do you see where I'm going with this? Some kind of valve. Oh, look, we should be here already. Hang on one second, dude. Uh, we 
bien. Wow. You short work of that, didn't you? Let us go to the next area, shall we? What excitement could await us in there? Open the gates. That was easy. Wait for me, man. Yeah. Lego City here already. Look at these other studs here. Don't go to day job. Tell these other officers which way to carry the trampoline so you can catch your stranded friends. Go left! Wait there! Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha! Excellent catch! Right a bit? Keep going right! Get oh. ready! Ooh, you almost lost one! Left! Get ready! Yay! Got him! Go right! Keep going right! Good work! <laughs> hey! Nicely done! Left a bit! Left some... Stop! Geronimo! Yeah! That is the last one! Well done! Now that they are safely down, we can put out those fires up there. But they are too far and too ferocious for your own extinguisher. But not for these! Yes! They are impressive, are they not? Say hello to my massive friends! Hop on to one of them! Is that two references? Like The Shining and Scarface? Excellent! The water cannon can squirt a lot higher than your extinguisher can. That's half of them. Aren't you, officer, awesome? so hard, was it? Oh, quickly! A most urgent situation has arisen! What is it? Oh, you're acting again, aren't you? Yes. Our station mascot, Admiral Pom Pom Moggins III, has become trapped on a ledge! <laughs> you want me to rescue a cat? Oh, yes! Now, you will truly learn what it is to be a fire officer in Lego City. To rescue cats is our highest calling. Because they're usually on top of buildings. Or trees. But first, you will need some way to get up to him. Hmm? Uh -huh. I got it. Build a ladder! I hope my training's almost finished. I still gotta get to the fireboat. Then, once Vinny's got the boat, I can follow him to Rex. Quickly, hurry! It's almost time for Admiral Pompom's nap. Is this why there was a stinky fish in the pocket of my uniform? Yes! Also, in case you get hungry. Ugh. Oh, I, I hear him. Sorry, Mr. Kitty, I'm coming.
Oh, hang on. Oh man, it is get get clear. Admiral Pompom took over from our previous mascot, Commander Claus. And believe me, Commander Claus earned his name. He was quite the contract negotiator. There you go. <laughs> you saved him. Okay, well we're all done here. I'll see you inside for the chief's birthday party. There's lots of food. Wow, they've done this place up really nice. Maybe if we did the same for Dunby's birthday, he wouldn't be such a grumpy pants. Hey, JC, how you settling into your new job? Good, but I'm gonna have to get the fire chief out of his office so I can open the door to the boathouse. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, kid. The last person who disappointed me bought the farm, you know? You mean? Yeah, even after I told him it was a terrible investment. Anyway, don't sweat the fire chief thing. You'll figure it out, kid. Everybody has a weakness. <sighs> it's no good. I can't beat it. The heads keep spinning and I can't aim my extinguisher straight. I had the exact same problem, which is kind of worrying, seeing as we're meant to be firefighters. You know, Chief Burns is such a party pooper. Yeah. Just because we got him the wrong kind of cake. And blew out the candle before him. And opened some of his presents. And congratulated him on his 50th birthday, when he's only 40. And got him a Mother's Day card instead of a birthday one. And got his name wrong on it. I mean, what's wrong with that? <laughs> he is so touchy. You gotta aim for their mouths, but only when they're facing you. A three? Four? That's five. Hey, you did it! Oh, well done, man. That is outstanding. What's going on out there? You people better not be enjoying yourself on my birthday. I better not see anyone smiling down there. Hey, she's, she's distracted now. Who would have thought being a firefighter would involve so much paperwork? Not me. There are like a hundred different forms just for rescuing cats. I know. Speaking of which, 
You have a 37B. It's the one for short-haired tabby cats up an oak tree. Sorry, we're all out. I've got one for a long-haired green-eyed Persian with a foul temper on top of a traffic signal, if you like. Nah. Character on lot, Jay Crosby. Key. You ever snuck into Burns' office? Almost. I got up on top of the light fitting outside it, but I couldn't make the jump to his office. Huh. What if we brought in a hang glider? I'd so be up for that. That's one of five. Hmm. All right. Hang on. Two. Three. Four. Where's the, oh, the fifth one's in the in the chief's office, I think. It is. That's four so far. All right. If like this video, be sure to give to give this video a like and comment down below. Alright. If you like this video, be sure to give this video a like and comment down below. Time to find this boat and sail it away. One of three.
Got it. Pardon. Barbara Kane. because I'm not a simpleton. Oh, man. I just went through basic training to get in here. And it's a good thing you did, because we're stuck on this side of the fence. Uh, yeah. And we can't open that big door to get the boat out of here. Leave it to me. <sighs> like we have a choice. Aw, uh, I like him. Hey, Andy, hon. Yeah? Do you want me to cook up those sausages? Yeah. In the morning? Yeah. Do you want me to do something different? Um, sausages. Tomorrow. I think so. Yeah, for, well, uh, for tonight, tonight maybe. Yeah, I mean, I'll make them. Yeah, then. and then I'll have them for tomorrow. Okay, honey. Alright. Yeah. That's two. That was easy. The boss said you should get on the water cannon.
got the we got, we got the fire boat. So what you think that little joystick does? Don't know. Try moving it. Oh, it don't do nothing. See? Lego City Bar Department Love Complete. Free play unlocked. Costumes. That's two. Jay Crosby. Lego City Hero. Continue story. Cross Town Tunnel. So there's Vinny. What's up, Vinny? Hey, great stuff, Chasey. Nah, it was nothing. I want you to know you're my go-to guy now. I really trust you. Aw, thanks, Vinny. And now I can finally get that private buyer off my case. <laughs> Time to arrange a meeting. I'll be in touch afterwards. All I need to do is follow you to Rex Fury. What could go wrong? I told you I'd trust you to find my dad, Chase. Don't you trust me? What? I, I'm kind of... Look, I know you've got cops keeping tabs on me. You do? I mean, what? I haven't arranged anything like that. I'm somewhere I need to go, Natalia. Don't pretend, Chase. I'm at the hospital, and I can see them watching me from across the road. What do they look like? Uh, well, really smartly dressed for cops. They're wearing black suits, and they're standing by an <coughs> unmarked black van and a limousine. They're not cops, are they? I don't think so. And now they're coming towards the hospital. Chase? Yes? Help! Natalia? Natalia? Really? This again? All right. All right. Resume rescue Natalia again. Man, Christ. Almost five million studs now. Yikes. 
Yikes. Things really went from bad to worse. Oh, no, Natalia. Help! Help! Natalia. Hang on, I'm on my way. Got it. Key card. We need that. Thank you. Super grip. where the hospital stores all its huge fires.
That was easy. Stop messing around and rescue me, Chase! I'm trying! You ain't kidding! There's no way to climb up there! But I could climb up there. Oh, what? Oh, man. Oh, great. Hang on. Ellie? I think I'll need another favor soon. What is it this time? Does the department have a safe house anywhere? So people are after Natalia, so she can't go back to her own place. All the safe houses are booked up, I'm afraid. Chan's guys are in them, selling each other out. But, uh, if she doesn't mind couch surfing, she can stay at my place. Is it safe? I've got a big dog, although the only way he'll help is if the bad guys are allergic to him. Well, it's better than sharing with one of Chan's guys. Thanks again, Ellie. Not a problem. I'll head there now. Do you need backup? No time. I can handle this. Yeah, you can handle it, Chase.
legs better not get tired halfway up. Natalia, I'm coming to you now. Help! I'm coming! Stay there! Oh, okay! Because I was thinking of hurling myself up the side of the building! Sheesh, mortal peril really brings out her sarcastic side. Alright, Natalia, I'm almost there, dude. Chicken can take both of our weights. Are you saying I weigh a lot? Yes. I'm choosing this exact moment to discuss how much you weigh. Where's the hospital helicopter? The one day it's not here. Of course. A helicopter. Oh, sure. The hospital's helicopter is always buzzing around the building when I'm carrying files it can blow out of my hand. As soon as I'm getting pursued by mysterious men, nowhere to be seen. 48 so far, huh? You know what? Hello, cats. Keep back. I'll deal with them. Yeah, I think that's for the best. They didn't look like Chen or Vinny Papalardo's guys. They don't even look like Rex's thugs either. The only time you see them in suits is in court. Are they the people who took my dad, Chase? They could be. But I thought Rex was behind that. What does your dad do? He's a professor. He worked on Apollo Island for years, but he's been on a private research contract for the last few months. Oh? I don't know the details. And he kept his cabin locked up tight because of the precious stones he was working with. Going on, Chase. I'm not 100% sure. Chan and Vinny were working for Rex. These other guys? Maybe Rex is working for them. I'll find out. But first, I'm taking you to a friend's place. She's called Ellie. You should be safe there. Thank you, Chase. Huh? Was that a nice thing? So it looks like I know how to fly a helicopter then. Now I know that you have to switch off their engines after you land. I suppose I owe you an apology. <laughs> I know you've been trying to protect me. I was.
was just worried about my dad. And I know you didn't mean to reveal my identity during Rex's trial. Oh, right. So why have you been such a pain? Well, I still wasn't happy about it. When I first met you, I trusted you completely. I, I might have even had some feelings. So when you just left like that? Feelings? Oh. Shut up. So, would you like to see a movie sometime? You're actually Aww, this is nice. But I like you're it. married to your job, and I don't date married men. Damn it. How about coffee? Just find my dad, Chase. Tea? A tiny cookie? Ice cream? Ice cream. Vinny's meeting with Rex. Please don't have left the restaurant yet. Chapter 1. The purpose of the is in the meeting. Exhibit T. Complete chapter 10. Back in the case. No lock trash mats. So, wait. Alright. So, that about wraps it up. And what? Do some builds. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nineteen point two percent. Nice. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hit the subscribe button for more Lego City Undercover. Give this video a like and comment down below. That does it, guys. See you guys later. Bye, guys.